assalamu alaikum guys today the topic is what is the standard dimensions of hidden beam nrcc slab if you want to build your house suppose that is residential building if that is two story three story if the span of rcc column is more than 20 feet if that is living room slab or hall or veranda so in that case you should provide the hidden beam to control the structure load and distribute or transfer to the floor beams and floor beams convert to the RCC column. So let's get started guys that what should be the standard size of hidden beam. As you can see guys this is hidden beam section and this is slab section. Okay. First of all I will tell you the standard size of hidden beam for residential building not for commercial building if that is up to two to three story means to, to three floors you can use the size of hidden beam it should be not less than 300 mm so this is the standard size of hidden beam now guys what should be the thickness of our depth of hidden beam so the depth should not be less than 200 mm which is about four inches so this is its depth now come to its steel reinforcement but before starting steel reinforcement as i told you before if the span is more than suppose here this is rcc column so this is support and here this is other support okay so we are providing hidden beam same like this here you can see the steel reinforcement okay next guys so if the span is more than 20 feet so you should provide the hidden beam because at the middle of the living room veranda also in hall so in that case we have positive bending moment which is maximum to control the positive bending moment so we are providing the hidden beam to transfer or distribute the load of RCC uh, or load of the structure. So this is very important to know about this. Now guys here, now let me guide you for its steel reinforcement. Remember guys, used here, so this is the size. So first of all, I will write here the size. So the size should be 300 mm and 200 mm. Okay, so this is here width and this is thickness. Okay, so this is size. But in commercial building, you can keep the size up to, this is for commercial building, this is for residential. This is residential. And this one is commercial. For commercial building, You can keep the size from 300 to 900 mm. It depends on the structure load and the span of the column, the, the span of the slab, okay, or the length of the slab. Next, guys, let me guide you for steel reinforcement. So, used minimum seven steel rods. If the dimension is this one, 300 by 200. So, used here four steel rods minimum at the bottom and the dia should not be less than 12 mm for normal residential building so next guys you can see the compression zone so for compression zone you can use minimum three numbers don't provide two numbers so three numbers and the dia you can keep up to 12 mm next guys you can see the stirrups so here these are the stirrups so use the stirrup dia 8 mm with the spacing of 150 to 200 mm c slash c center to center distance between two stirrups inside hidden beam okay so guys these are its steel reinforcement next guys you can see these are the hooks so hooks should be provided on 135 degree so it should be bent on 135 degree and the length of the hook should not be less than three inches 
or you can say 75 mm so these are the steel reinforcement and standard size of residential building uh, for hidden beam and this is rcc slab if the span is more than this so where where we can provide especially for living room and veranda and if the span is more than 20 feet so hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye